G'day my friends, Marty Weir here from Marty's Garden on YouTube. I'll tell you what, I'm super excited because I think the world of worms is finally going to get its voice. I really do. Like, it's been sort of like going on this ooh, downhill directory, directory, directory. I don't know how you say that word, but look, it hasn't really been moving in the progress that it should have. And it basically, look, it should have been like 200 years ago taken on as the world best way to create nitrogen for the planet, right? But the world had different ideas. And I've got different ideas, and I know you who are watching that have a similar idea to me. Speaking with a local council now, buy from the economic department and also the dude who runs the head waste department here in the council area where I live on the Camden Haven Port Macquarie area. And they told me by 2030, all the waste, organic waste, will not be going into landfill from houses and businesses. I said, How do you solve that problem? And he said, Through industry and councils locally and I'm like oh wow man he goes and you're a part of that Marty I've gone well that's pretty interesting he goes can you move 10,000 tons and I started laughing and said I don't think so <laughs> not right at this very moment but what it shows me is that the world's changing they're developing these new laws and they want these new industries to come through and develop these practices to solve these problems right the world is waking up and talking about this now when I was talking about this oh decades and decades ago but anyway we won't go there right because at least we're finally here so what it's done is it's given me a little bit of hope that this can actually be achievable now I nearly gave it away a few months ago because uh, I just wasn't making much money I'm only just surviving uh, right now really just just paying the bills and getting my daughter off to school lunch on the table things like that so that's pretty good and you guys really helped me out to actually help me get to this space by getting on the uh, buy, me a, buy Me A Coffee website, right? Where you can buy me a coffee and that money gets funded to me. Or you can become a member in there. Or you can buy the ebook, Starting a Worm Farmer Beginner's Guide. And all that support really helped me quite a lot to get to this next stage where I need to be. And I didn't think when I was running all that stuff that I was actually going to be moving down here. It's just that these guys, they uh, took over new management and I thought, you know what, maybe I can still keep the compost going and uh, get a space down there. And I cut a part of the deal with them and here I am. But this thing is, this space is not totally, it's not mine yet. I don't have a lease or anything on it or, you know, uh, it's all just a word of mouth agreement. And the people are really nice here. And so very soon I'm going to pitch them my concept. Now I've spoken to them briefly about it. And you go, Marty, well, what is the concept? What is it? What is it? How about the world's first worm farming interactive space zone, right? And other products that work around sort of gardening to bring it all together. It could be anything from a rain tank that connects up to a sort of a garage where you have a garage space roof where it's connected up to worm farms and things. There's little solar pumps and all that running through and just really, and then it's all interactive. So it turns out a product and grows plants, right? Amazing plants that uh, just comes from your waste from being at home or from maybe the local club, uh, local cafes, restaurants, things like that, turning waste into something valuable. Now. It is pretty noisy down here at Three Brothers Landscaping because remember, I am on a landscaping supplies garden centre. So, unless I've got a little lavalier connected up, which they're a bit of a hassle, you get, occasionally you're going to hear noise from time to time here. But anyway, what's going on now? I'm hoping this is going to happen. I've got a guy coming from Nortec, so he's a business consultant. He's going to be here in about an hour. We're going to have a chat about this business here and then he's gonna look at sort of all my options and help me develop a better plan so I can become sustainable and stay profitable. Hopefully he's not gonna say, Marty, this is a bit of a waste of time and I think you should be looking at a new direction to uh, pay the bills. So we're hoping that it doesn't come down to that. But I think what we can do as a community is start to look at the ways we can build this interactive space. Now, um, 
I need to probably put up some type of building here and I need to get more worm farms in here. Permi Pete is sponsoring us with a hungry bin. Um, so that's coming in the next week or so. He's from uh, wormbeers.com.au. And we've got a few worm farms come in from sponsors around the area, uh, such as Camden Haven Signs. They've sponsored a farm and he's gonna turn up with a sticker for his farm uh, probably next week. And you know, we need to find, you know, like maybe someone to donate a caravan or to donate like a, a shipping container, or something along those lines. So and build out this space. So wish me luck, guys. Hopefully this is gonna happen. This is gonna become a reality. We have a product coming out of here, interactive zone with workshops, children coming through, uh, commercial, commercial businesses working with me, displaying their products here on site. And whew, it's a big thing to do. And I've never done anything like this before. So it'll be very, very interesting. I bet let you go. The tractor out there is making, truck up there is making too much noise and I need to start bagging some compost before the man from Nortec, Nortec turns up, uh, Tinnis his name is, and uh, gives me a rundown on what I should do here. Alright, stay tuned, have a great day, happy worm farming, and we'll see you at the next video slash vlog real soon. Bye for now. Woo!